Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. And I'm Danny. And we are the Canon Collective, also known as CCTV. Alright guys, today we're coming back at you with another mukbang. And um, today we're having Bojangles chicken. That's a um, southern delicacy. I don't have, do you have any of these in North? North? I don't think so. Exactly. So why did you look at me like? I didn't look at you. I'm looking as if. Nah, yeah, no, you, you were looking at me like. Cause they might. I don't know. Anyway, I ain't been up there. In a yeah, while. today we have Bojangles chicken. Um, yeah, they have them mostly here in the South Wind, South Carolina. Um, used to them in North Carolina. Um, I don't think they have them too far north. So yeah. You've it, never seen one of the kids. Yeah, it's pretty good chicken. I mean. We wanted Popeyes, but Popeyes is twenty five minutes from here. They, yeah, they only have one yeah, Popeyes that I know of in the area, yeah. and it's and it's a good distance. But um, and church is just too high. We go kind of jump right into eating. It's been a long, a long day. <laughs> we got this chicken. We got uh, the chicken. Got the biscuits from Bojangles, which are pretty good. Out of most chicken restaurants, I like their biscuits. Pretty, you know, over a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. And um, right here we got this uh, dirty rice. Um, and we got that macaroni. That they didn't fill up all the way. No, and they did it. And cool. it's, it's pitiful because, you know, this is a tailgate special. And look, I mean, you just want that to the top because, I mean, it's just me and her. So we, we might make it. But, you know. And look at the coleslaw. We, up eat, there. we eat a lot. Yeah, and the, and the coleslaw. Now it's up there. Now we ain't, yeah, next they, they, they stack this like in I here. Like and um, I don't even know too much about Budrangles coleslaw, so, you know. How that might go, but um, yeah, it's a tailgate, it's meant to feed more than two people. And you know, if I'd be mad if I was trying to split this macaroni, <laughs> just saying, between my family, you know, four more people or however many, not gonna make it. It says it feeds six. Who's six? <laughs> you would have had to get uh, three of these, three of one, and then you'll feed six. Voice. All right, yeah, oh, sorry. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food and let it provide nourishment for our bodies. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Yeah, Who's grace? Who's grace? <laughs> Let's eat. Um, Can you pass me a cup? Oh, yeah. Thank That's you. That's my girl. Yeah, because you like more ice than me. Yeah, we got that sweet tea, like which, you know, Bojangles sweet tea is another thing for me that's hitting this. It hit better be good. Y'all know. Um, it's mostly misses for me. Y'all know chicken restaurants. Um. Not chicken restaurants, but most fast food restaurants in general, when it come down to the macaroni, it's kind of like not that good. But they're just they're just, just okay. You know, I don't like. I just don't like that powdered, you know, milky taste that that you get at a lot of them. I don't, I don't like that. But theirs is bearable. It's it's pretty good. It's it's, it's actually good. It's good that. enough for me to get it as a side on. It's okay, we got that sweet tea. Like I said, I don't know it's how. It's good today. You taste it. It's good. It's hit and miss. Sometimes it tastes like water. Sometimes it tastes like, you know, a uh, diabetic shock. I'm taking the risk. <laughs> yeah, it is good today. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, this is not going to feed six. Maybe six skinny people. Because me and him just split that in half. Mm. Yeah, we eat too much. <laughs> I mean, this no, is but, not going to feed my immediate family. No, it wouldn't feed none. It wouldn't. Yeah. So. It'd be enough chicken. It's enough chicken. It That's it. So you would have to get extra size. So if, yeah. they, if this is their uh, standard, if this is normal, if, if you go on the budget angles, let me drop that in. Bam. If you go on the budget angles and um, you're getting um, this for your family, I suggest you order extra size if this is how it's supposed to come. And, uh, and uh, but her dirty rice is like probably my favorite side on the menu. You try this coleslaw. Yo, you're talking about get the cushion. You can't trust folk coleslaw. We got um <laughs> the Franks on deck. You know, there's a lot of hot sauces to like, and a lot of people have different preferences of hot sauce. When it comes down to it, I do. If I if I go in the store and I'm and I don't have a hot, like if I had to pick one and I didn't have none at home, I'll definitely get red hot. Just because I like it over the Texas Peak. Um. It just has more of a vinegar taste to it. A lot of people like Tabasco. Uh, um, I think that's more up north. Down here, you'll find more people using uh, Texas Pete and Red Hot. Mm -hmm. And um, 
Sorry, it's dripping out slow, so y'all might be like, that's why it's coming out like, you know how a fresh bottle, it don't want to come out right? Uh, Give me some. Thanks. And, uh, got to do my honey on him. I didn't always do this, but, you know, somewhere along the line, I learned about it, and, um, what I, and it's something I stick with. Most people yeah. like um, <laughs> most people like hot sauce and um, no, I was saying most people. I used to like um, just adding extra vinegar with my hot sauce on chicken. So I go. So I didn't realize how good Bojangles chicken was probably until I started dating him, but. My mama used to get it often, and she probably gonna get me for saying this. But she like sits in this chair in the living room in the corner, and like her head be like this in the box, and I be sitting there watching her. I be like, oh, that chicken must be good, cause I'm not like a fried chicken person. Mm -hmm. Like I don't really eat it like that. And so I saw her in that box. Then when I finally tried, I was like. Oh, it is good. Maybe that's why her head be in the box. Yeah, it is. The girl, come up for you. It's when it's Breathe. Fresh. When it's fresh, it's good. When it ain't fresh, mm -hmm. not a problem. It's just the way that they fry it. The skin is made to be crispy, so whenever it gets old, kind of loses that and it gets kind of like that chewy, like something you don't want. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. We used to live up the road from Bojangles, literally. We're like, like down the hill. We drive down the hill and then. Yeah, we come down the hill. It was like in a car, it was literally like a minute from where we lived. Bruh. They are forever trying to mess up your order. Give me Burger King. Burger King guy. <laughs> Go to Burger King think your food's going to be right. Every time I don't check my food at Burger King, mm. it's tough. I was watching um, a mukbang from B-Love's Life the other day with her and her husband. And one of them had a messed up something. It was like, was like didn't want no onions on one. I don't like the burger. Somebody said something about I don't like the burger king somewhere. Something like that burger king over there. Or well, they messed up my order because of some. They they blamed it on something else. They messed up my order because of something. Oh, now I remember. She said <coughs> he wanted he wanted no onions on his sandwich, and she wanted no onions. She wanted onions on hers, and. They both ended up with no onions, and she said that Burger King messed up her order because of him. I said, nah, they messed up your order because that Burger King, right. that's what they do. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know how many times I've been Burger King. Well, you just learn to check your stuff out of the wall, because you know it's going to be right. Mm -hmm. Then a dude, um, one time, I was on, I want to see Danielle at work. And I had um, I had um, picked up some food, and they messed my food up. I should have known. And so I went <laughs> back. I just wanted, I just wanted my money back because I didn't even want it to begin with. I just knew that's what she wanted. And he over here, the manager over here, talking about some. Their exchange system is down. They can give me a refund. You don't know who you dealing with, bro. <laughs> you gonna give me a refund today? With this Jack Dell sandwich. Well, he gave me a refund too. <laughs> well, we sit here and pretend all you want to. I'm like, I ain't going nowhere till you get my money. And then you're going to go back in there, and then uh, two minutes later, you're going to pretend that everything is, uh, just came back to working right. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go Arby's earlier for lunch, and it had just opened. <laughs> There was a lot of people in there. I don't know if that lady. They just opened up or they, or that. Like they just, I think they just opened up probably like two days ago. Oh, so the, the place itself. Mm-hmm. 
And this lady in there. <laughs> yeah, Russia, I don't know. I think, I feel like she was seasoned because she knew, but. She was not seasoned. She won't season. <laughs> <laughs> she been working there a while, I think, at Arby's, but they just had her at that location. But honey, it was too many folk in there. She could not take the pressure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Taking my order like this. Uh, ma'am, do you need to go take a break? Mm -hmm. Or, because what are you going through? And then, while I'm waiting for my food inside, she go, I am so stressed out. Uh, I think Sally might need to take a mental break. <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes. She needs something. She is tripping. Straight up tripping, bitch. Let me tell you something. Between retail and fast food, I don't like when people let their jobs get to them to the point to where they can't service me right. Like, I don't need you to cater to me. Like, I don't need that. But, don't start snapping to me. Don't start being rude. And, um, you know what I'm saying? At least just get through the basic things. You know what I'm saying? That's all I ask. Because every time we go to work, we all got a job to do. That's part of your job. When you deal with people, it's just to deal with them. Don't let the person behind me influence how you treat me. Because I'm not always right in the mind when I uh, when I go to places and <laughs> see you having a bad day, but see I ain't on the clock, right? And so you know I try not to you know. And I'm not the one that told you to go work at Arby's Grand Opening. I'm not right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you to volunteer and say, Melissa, you're gonna go work for Arby's. It's the Grand Opening. <laughs> Get out there and make some sales. I didn't tell you to go do that. You Some of y'all might that. say a job is a job, which it is. But you sat in orientation and you told them folks when they said, are you good with people? You said, yes. Yes, I am. I remember the time I helped Sally do so and so and so. And Stephen came Everything back behind. Everything is Sally today. And, right. <laughs> and Stephen came back behind and he told me how much I did a good job of this. And that was, you know how to get you out of the situation. You sat there and you told them people that. Now you sitting there here like you got an attitude like you're not supposed to help nobody. Come on now. Come on, what it is, what it is. All right. I deal with people too, but I know that's part of my job. That's something you sign on that line for. Hey, right. deal with them. Everybody. Hey, you one thing. I don't think I could. Well, I did retail, but I don't think I would really want to do fast food. That was <laughs> grocery stores was enough for me. Fast food. I only worked in fast food a little bit in high school. Wait a minute. <laughs> no. I only had one fast food job. I worked at Taco Bell for like two months. <laughs> that was it. Mm -mm. I had to get up out of there. Mm -mm. I did grocery store. Hmm? I did grocery store. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. I used to get on my nerves. I used to work at a produce section. I mean that. Okay. I used to work. <coughs> Too much biscuit. That's the second time you done choked on a video. I choke anyway. <laughs> um, I used to work in the produce section. Them old folk come over there. Y'all got any more sweet potatoes in the back? <laughs> uh, Y'all know the produce section, like, if I go to the back, it's just swing door. I was like, yeah, let me look. I go back there, walk through them them doors, look at my phone. I'm gonna walk back out. Oh. Or I'd be like, no, ma'am, that's it. Our truck comes tomorrow. Whether tomorrow was truck day or not, that's what I said. If you ever go looking for a carrot or a potato and they ain't got what you like out there and I tend to go back and make them go back again. You gotta go back there. Make them show you if you really want to know. But most of the time... The same potatoes that are out there, there are select stores like the Walmart we live by. Mm -hmm. Um, the Walmart we live by, who probably does have produce that's better in the back. But if you go into like food line and stuff, they really regulate that. So, mm -hmm. but you know, make them bring it out to you. Yeah, when you have somebody like me, that's a piece of duty that will lie to you. <laughs> it's hard, man. I would. It's it's hard to go people out there. But I mean, you get some really nice people, but and there are others, man. 
And we in the South. In the North, it's much worse. Mm. We got people that ain't nice to each other <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> they ain't. When down here, you got a lot of rude people, but you got your really nice people too. So. And I'm just going off what I heard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and some of the people that moved this way. And I don't think it's it's not always a um a, they just hateful, I ain't gonna say that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just a personality thing. You grow up, you just learn, you know what I'm saying, I ain't speaking to nobody, I don't speak to me. Sometimes it ain't it's I'm not speaking to nobody, period, because what yeah, you speaking to me for. Right. Hey, that's just a, a regional thing, but it's hard to other people, bro. Oh, she used to didn't eat hot sauce. <coughs> I did. Funny to me. I didn't. But I do now. Mm-hmm. I didn't think it was necessary. I didn't want to I did. It adds a little something. Wipe mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just glad now and when we get chicken I'm not forced to eat a thigh. <laughs> <laughs> My family get chicken when I was little. They used to give us the thighs and the legs. I don't want that mess. <laughs> what am I going to do with this? I don't, I don't even want to eat this. It's too much vein. It's too much. Yeah, I was always uh, oh. I was, boy I'm after that breast. I was a fat child, so it always came that I'm trying to get the biggest piece of chicken I can. And, um, and most of the time, if I can get a breast in my hand, I ain't care if I got a thigh. I wanted that breast. <laughs> I wanted that breast. And um, I pretty much. My mama knew it anyway. She just tried to give me a little. I'm though, as I got older, because I'm the oldest out of the children, I should get a breast one. <laughs> but that was it. I didn't get nothing else. There was three of us. I know, it wasn't nobody but me. Then my sister came along late. Mm hmm. Alright, 12. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, um, I wish to tell y'all about. <laughs> Mm-mm. I'm laughing already. Because, uh, I recently started a new job, and uh, I have training, right? Let's see, the training there was done a little different, and um, it was like kind of like a classroom setting. And so, our trainer or our teacher had a different, I had a, you know, she used two truths in her lives for us to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. And so, she goes around the the room, um, everybody doing their two truths in a lie. And, um, (laughs) she goes, she calls on this one dude, they kind of scraggly, you know, you know, they have kind of oversized hoodies, unzipped. You know, hey, I'm Chris. He's like, let me see. Um, well, I'm so and so. I don't remember what the first thing was. I said so. My grandpa, my grandma's from France, and I'm a recovering drug addict. Now, if you know how true drugs and lies, 
works. You tell two truths and one of us a lie. You have to go to lie. So everybody like, oh, it's a drug addict. You not no ex drug. Oh, you not no recovering drug addict. You not. Uh, in my mind, I was like, you know, he, he kind of looked like it. But I thought, I was like, <laughs> no, no, he ain't gonna say that. He ain't just gonna tell everybody he recovering drug addict. And then he was like, eh, oh no, that's the lie. I'm a recovering drug addict. <laughs> the class got so Shut quiet. Everybody, everybody got so quiet. Everybody I'm was like, done in this case. Everybody looking like. Mm. <laughs> and so I was just like, man, what? First day of the um, uh, orientation. Mr. Why? You know, we're telling people you are uh, like, hey, drug addict. Which we can tell. <laughs> he be falling asleep. I'm like, you still on the drugs. Is you still hitting the pipe? <laughs> He mm-hmm. said recover. He's not recovering. He's recovering. <laughs> he shall recover. Yes. I'm about there too, sister. I can't take it no more. Mm-hmm. I can't. God, this is going to be a short video. Scrape, scrape. <laughs> scrape, scrape. Mm. Let me tell you why my job had me hot today. I get off at four thirty. They gonna have a meeting at four fifteen. My feet is hurting. <laughs> it's four thirty three, and my feet is hurting. Oh yeah, everybody congratulate Danny on her new promotion on her job. Yay! Woo. I'm a chemist now. <laughs> uh, if only you knew how scary that sounds to me. Or probably anybody that knows me. <laughs> <laughs> she don't need to be doing that. Oh, it's kind of scary for me. Anyway, but yeah, because, you know, once it gets like 4.35, I start to itch. Because I'm supposed to be going, unless I'm doing something. If I'm actually doing something, I don't care. And then it's always this one person in the meeting that want to give input or ask questions. This statement is very clear. Shut your mouth so I can go home. Shut up. When I think, well, done, done. You know what I think? I think you should shut up because my feet is hurting and I'm itching and I need to clock out. <laughs> That's what I think. I said, let you do for the. To do. Meant to that. What to do? Oh, yeah. I took a nap, so I don't know when he got off. I stayed late today for the same reason. So I told you I recently started a new job. We're in our actual week of where we're performing our job duties. It's still considered training. And so at the end of the day, we have a talk from um, our um, immediate management team. I mean, you know, they're telling us, you know, where we're at, how we're all doing a good job, and this and that. And so I was supposed to leave at eight. They had us stop working at eight. I'm in seven fifty, so I already knew. Mm-hmm. Talking about brief meeting. No. Ain't no brief. It's never brief. Because they had us to um to like to get off our computers, but they didn't have us to you know sign out. Well, I already knew this wasn't gonna be too brief. I'm over here when you start telling me to do stuff toward the end of the shift, or you calling for a meeting at the end of the shift. I already knew it wasn't going to be right. <laughs> and so it was fine. You know, the, the main supervisor said what she had to say. And she was like, anybody have anything they want to add? <sighs> you got everybody. Don't saying. ever ask that. Yeah, anything you want to and add. Then somebody going to look and say, what's wrong with you? I said, I wish they would shut up. I'm ready to go. No. Yeah. I've been here all day. All day. I've been here. I don't know. And then, like I said, I get the itching because I get to work at 6 o'clock in the morning. So, when folks something come around, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I don't care about your life. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. Like, we have in the shift uh, emails that we send. My email was sit- just sitting on the computer screen. As soon as they was done, I was fitting to click that thing and leave because I ain't got off on time all week. And I said, I'm leaving on time today. Did they want to have a stank in me? And I still ain't leave when I was supposed to. Mm-hmm. I left at 4.50. Mm-hmm. 
He don't never get off on time. I never did. <laughs> I ain't got off on time since I was training. That was the last time I got off on time. Mm-hmm. Any other time, I don't. I don't. Because for some reason, I decide to start tests at a time I shouldn't. And I don't finish them. By 4.30. She literally complains every day about not getting off on time. Because it bothers me. <laughs> I'm leaving at 4.30 today. I'm leaving at 4.30. No, you're not. Just deal with it. She works four days a week anyway. Does it mean are you going to be there? Oh. Understandable, but still. I you got like <clears throat> the schedule that a lot of people would love to have. Oh, yeah. Four days a Thursday. week, 10, day, 10 hours. You got the weekend off, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What? But. I have been blessed. Y'all, we ain't gonna um, make this video real long. Oh! Long. Blessed. And that was unnecessary. <laughs> Probably yelling in my ear like that. I had a power nap. I'm trying to, boy. You know how you be so hungry? You be like, I'm hungry. I'm about to eat. And then you start eating. Eating, then that just like sit on you even. Mm-hmm. It's always when you the hungriest is when you can't mm-hmm. eat the most. <laughs> I tried to force it. Hey, Jay. I grabbed this biscuit. Eat that, eat that biscuit. Eat that biscuit. Alright. Don't start. Give me some more tea. Hot dog cup. Drink cup right there. Give me some tea, man. That's not how you ask for something. I am too old and thirsty. I'm <laughs> too old and I can have mammals. I do got mammals. I'm just not using them today. Well, then you not getting no tea. Today. You better give me that tea. <laughs> give me. <laughs> AJ, y'all. Ask nicer. Can I have the tea, please? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you give it to you anyway. You know what I was about to say? What? Can you? <laughs> Girl, my job to do that mess. Get on my nerves. So how it. old are we? I can't stand that. Yes, that'll, that'll get you cussed out. Get some, <laughs> get some new material. That'll, that's what you do to kids. God, I'm too old for this. You do that to me at work, I'm liable to knock your head off. <laughs> Talking about it, can you? Mm-hmm. Can I? I'm going to show you. I can show you better than I can tell you. Give me this. <laughs> what happened? The top was still on. No, I'm, no. Done. I'm, I'm over here tight now. It's a oh, shut up. Uh, my nose running on camera. <laughs> I can't uh, his even. nose has been running ever since. Ever since forever. Ask, yeah. Ask my, his uh, family people. have said. I used to call him Roscoe. Yeah, off Martin. Yeah, I remember no, my Jada. When we was first going out to eat, I said, oh my God, his nose is running. I don't like stuff like that. Sure. I don't like nose is running. I don't like sneezing. I don't like blowing noses in public. Oh, do not blow your nose next to me when there's a bathroom right there. Don't do it because I'm not gonna like it. Soon as I um, soon as I eat something hot, <laughs> it just comes like cut work. I can't eat nothing hot and make my nose run. And it ain't gotta be spicy. Like that's just regular hot sauce. And you know my mouth ain't burning nothing like that. But it, I, that's an automatic response. If I get anything spicy, my nose start dripping. Dribbling and dribbling. Not dribbling. Dribbling. Y'all, I told y'all I got off at 8 o'clock. What time is it? Almost. Mm. About to wrap, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> oh, wait. Is this, y'all saw that, then? Is that any way a wife should look at her husband? (laughs) (laughs) Go to What am I supposed to do? What do you mean? What are you doing? (laughs) I'm supposed to look at you and smile on you. Yeah. You're supposed to look at me with your eyes, just loving your eyes. They're supposed to gleam. 
That's what do my eyes take? <laughs> Scary. <laughs> uh, cartoon. <laughs> no, then, then that's what you're going to get. Cartoon. Herbert said that's enough. You ain't supposed to make the Miss Pearly face when you look at me. That's what you did. Shut up. On Friday. You are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. Jesus. Thanks. Herbert said that's enough. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Herbert cut the camera. <laughs> <laughs>